it, it's just nice. Pepple, pepple. <laughs> Somebody help me. Bathe me in this. It is so hot today. So if my makeup looks a little bit dodgy, it's because it's been on all day and it's it's sweaty, very sweaty. So today I thought I would do a current favorites video. One of you guys did actually ask this in my previous video, if I could do a current favorite beauty products video. I did one of these, I literally thought it was last month. I checked, it was three months ago. And there have been quite a few new products recently that I've been testing and trying and loving and want to share with you. So these are my current favorite products. It's not even like a monthly favorites, it's just a favorites of, I guess, the past few months. If you guys want to see more of these videos please give this a thumbs up let me know down below what your current favorite product is it doesn't even have to be a makeup item it could be a skincare product it could be a film it could be a song it could be anything what is your current favorite let me know let me know down below let's just get into it i'm gonna try and sit here for as little time as i possibly can <laughs> so i'm not actually gonna show you these things on my face just because very recently on my channel i have used all of these products in videos so basically if you want to see any of these products actually in action type in soph does life and then the name of whatever product i'm talking about and there should be a video on it. Actually, some things I can put on my face, like for this. So I'm gonna start with base. There's actually a lot of base products this month that I have really, really been enjoying. And again, a lot of these I have used anyway in my videos, but oh my God, I think I've got like four foundations. Basically, if you're wondering what I've been wearing on my skin in any sort of pictures or anything pretty much recently, it's likely to be one of these four things. So first of all, starting with the drugstore, I've got the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. I love this. If anyone has been on my channel for a while, I think this was my favorite foundation maybe five years ago and I used to have the paler shade in it before I even got into like fake tanning and I don't actually know if it's the same I think this one might be slightly different because this is the fresh wear but the L'Oreal Infallible <coughs> but the L'Oreal Infallible used to be my favorite foundation or one of my favorite foundations and I hadn't used it in years because I never sort of repurchased my shade in like a darker shade when I started using fake tan but this one is just so lovely and beautiful and I think for a drugstore foundation it really performs like I would pay like 20 quid for this and I wouldn't question it. It To me, this performs like a high-end foundation and I just really love it. It's a really nice thin formula. Okay, I don't know how to, like, there's not really much point in me doing swatches of foundation, I guess. But it's a really thin, lightweight feeling formula. I guess that's kind of in the name. It does say like fresh wear and I would say that is kind of what it is. By the way, just for full um, transparency and disclosure, I did do a TikTok ad with this product, but I did the TikTok ad with them because they came to me and were like, hey, we've got the L'Oreal Fresh Wear Foundation. There's a campaign with it. Would you like to take part? And I was like, hell yes. Okay, that was literally pointless swatching on my hands, but yeah, because I think it is absolutely beautiful. And if you have a look at this on my skin, I think I used it a couple videos back actually. It's just so pretty. It's just got such a nice finish it's not matte it's not super super glowy it's like a nice in between i find that it lasts really really nicely on my skin and throughout the day it doesn't all sort of like separate and go horrible it just looks really nice and fresh i guess as the name suggests i would say it's more of like a medium coverage maybe even like medium to full it's really good stuff and I think it's like a tenner. Okay, so that is base product number one. That is the most affordable one, unfortunately. So the next three products are all kind of similar. This is the Ciate Dewy Skin Glass Glow Skin Tint. I've got the shade 030 and oh my God, this is so beautiful. This says glass skin. I would say this is the closest sort of foundation that I've got to giving that glass skin effect. It gives such an amazing glow. It's got really nice coverage. It makes your skin look super smooth. And honestly, like just go back to a video where I've used this and see me apply it to my skin because it is beautiful. Any cream products just blend so beautifully in with this. And to be honest, I don't really wear this on days where I want my makeup to last all day. I mean, it probably would if I remembered to sort of like touch up and powder through the day but because it is a more glow foundation and my skin I would say my skin is now more like combo because it gets oily in the middle and then sort of like dry a bit around the edges almost now because of my eczema issues it's kind of changed my skin a bit but this during the times where my skin was super dry this was a lifesaver because it just like swept over all of those dry patches and just looks so smooth and so beautiful and so glowy and I really 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 love it if that sounds like something you like if you like a glowy base 
highly recommend this. And then these two are kind of comparable. I'm actually wearing this one now. This I did try in a video very, very recently and it's the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. It's got SPF 30. I am wearing the shade Light 3 Groenland. If you're a fan of NARS foundations, to be honest, every NARS foundation that I've tried and every NARS sort of base product that I've tried, beautiful. They absolutely smash it when it comes to their base products. And this is really, really nice. I've got it on my skin now. So if I sort of come a bit closer, I guess, I'll zoom you in. So I have actually been wearing this all day. I did just touch up my concealer on my nose and on my chin because it had worn off a little bit from where I've been like resting on my chin. And I went out for lunch and sat in the sun in a pub garden. It didn't completely sweat off, which is a massive plus. I'm now filming this, what's the time? Quarter past 10 in the evening. And yes, my lights obviously make my skin look a little bit better than it is because you know, it's like super bright lights coming straight on rather than downward light. But I think my skin looks really nice. I did touch up my powder before filming, but um, yeah, it's still looking really smooth and like around my nose and everything. I really like it. I really, really like it. I've been wearing it quite a lot since I filmed that video. I like it enough for it to be made into a favorites video. So love this stuff, really beautiful. It's just really smooth. It doesn't give loads of coverage because obviously it's a tinted moisturizer but it's just like a really nice finish it's beautiful i really really love it the next product that has made it into my favorites i can't remember has this been in a favorites video already i don't think it has if it has i, do, I, I don't know well i did i did a full video on this so go check that out but this is the fenty beauty ease drops the blurring skin tint again another skin tint i love them i just love them don't know why it is this year has been the year of me loving tinted skin tinted moisturizers, skin tints, that kind of thing. I think just because my skin got better in terms of like breakouts and stuff, some days I don't even like need that much coverage anymore and I just go for one of these, which has been amazing and a blessing minus the eczema issues. I've got the shade four in this and if you are into your tinted moisturizers, but you don't like them to be super oily, you don't like them to be very glowy, I would definitely recommend this one because it's a bit more of a mattifying, smoothing skin tint. And if I want something that's got, I would say this has actually a little bit more coverage than the NARS one, it's not as glowy. So if you maybe have oily skin, this might be a good option. However, something I will say about this, okay, I just said if you have oily skin, this might be a good option. It doesn't wear super well on oily skin. So towards the end of the day, I did find it sort of like breaks up around my mouth most? What was that? However, I have still been reaching for this a lot. I'm wearing this on days where, like I said, if I'm gonna be going out for the day, doing more chilled stuff, maybe if I was going shopping for the day and I wasn't going on to sort of see people in the evening and I was coming home, then I would wear this. And I've been wearing it a lot on just those days where I wanna put something on and look a bit more put together, but can't be bothered to do a full face. Mostly for like dog training <laughs> sessions, which I know sounds ridiculous or just like going shopping or something. I'll put this on and I I really, really do like it, even though it's not the mo most long lasting skin tint in the world. I love the finish that it gives on my skin. It really like smooths over everything. It's got nice coverage and it's just nice. And I like the packaging as well. It's really cute. And even though it's small, you get 32 mil in here and it's a squeezy tube, which I love. And it's just very sort of like compact and I really like it. So yeah, there's another one. The next thing I have to talk about with base is actually brushes. So I have been trying and testing even more the Makeup by Ariel um, brushes with Morphe. And I do have the full sort of face set here and the sponge as well. Oh my God, the sponge is so good. It's so squishy and so lovely. And it's a bit dirty because I did use it to sort of like touch on my makeup before this video, but the sponge is great. I brought these with me to go to Dorset. I just shoved them all into my makeup bag and it pretty much has every brush that you would need for your face. This is a really nice brush for like buffing in your foundation. It's what I used this morning. This is a really lovely brush, blush for brush. What? A really lovely brush for blush um, or even like just like setting your face. This one I have to say I don't use so much. It's like a giant highlighter brush. Don't really use that as much. There's also this like smaller highlighter brush, which is a much more like better option for me. Or you could use this as a big eyeshadow brush. You've got the eyeshadow brush staples, like absolute basics that you would need. I would say the only thing that's missing from this set is a small angled brush. And then these two as well. I would say these two are the ones I've been using the most. This one for powder and also for bronzer. Like I love a tapered bronzer blush. Blush? Brush? Am I okay? It really reminds me of the Bare Minerals bronzer brush actually. Um, It's just really nice for bronzer. And then this one is so good for 
powdering under your eyes or like just in your t-zone i really like it i think it's a really nice brush set and the first time i used them they did shed a little bit but i have to say like since then they haven't really shed on me maybe it was just sort of like a first time thing i don't know sometimes morphe brushes can be a bit like temperamental but since i've been using these at the moment i have to say they haven't been shedding as much as when i first used them and i really like them i think they're great i think it's a great little set obviously he knows what he's doing he's a celebrity makeup artist and he's really good at what he does so i'm not surprised that i like them another product that i bought with me on holiday and you you know what I've actually very nearly finished this up I started using this when my skin was super dry and I was having my issues with eczema but I started using this because it was a much more lightweight powder and when I just wanted to like put a very light bit of powder around my eyes they were so dry and any heavy powder just made them look 10 times more wrinkly and made me look about 70 years old so I wanted to go for a powder that was a bit more lightweight and I remembered that I had this one hadn't really used it that much started using it again and fell in love with it this is the L'Oreal I magic loose powder Um, for some reason it's blue honestly do not know why it is blue but it does not come out blue on your face and they have pictures of models on their website of people um, even with deeper skin using this and it doesn't come out blue on them don't know how accurate those images are but I can confirm it does not come out blue on your face but it's just such a lightweight lovely powder it really like smooths your skin and it's really nice for under the eyes because it's not too thick some loose powders are quite like heavy but this is just a very like there's no point in me swatching a loose powder it just sort of like glides onto your skin maybe glide isn't the right word it, it it's just nice it's just nice okay and yeah it just feels very like light but does the job at the same time at mattifying and like setting your makeup in face in place setting your face in do I have heat stroke or something? Like another base product that I forgot to mention about. I definitely did not do this in order, but that's fine. The Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in the shade 02 Pepple Pepple Petal Poppin is what I was trying to say. Oh my god, this cream blush. It's nearly up there with the Mitchell peach blush the made by mitchell peach blush that i think was in my previous favorites video maybe i did mention this one in my previous favorites video i don't know but as you can see i have been using this a lot and it looks disgusting because i yeah i mean i just shove my brush in there and shove it all over my face but it is such a gorgeous color and it gives such a nice glow to your cheeks and when i'm doing my cream products like cream bro 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 Somebody help me. When I'm doing my cream bronzer, it just meshes with it so nicely. And I know that this swatch looks a bit pathetic, but I think I'm I'm definitely sure I've used this in videos before. I love it. I love it so much. I love Fenty. Fenty does some amazing product. Hang on, I've just realized I've got a Fenty skin tin in here, a Fenty cream blush, a Fenty setting spray. This, oh my God, this is just the most beautiful, Mist, the Fenty What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. Oh my God, bathe me in this. Not only is it so refreshing in this sweatiness, it smells amazing and it has got the most fine, the most fine mist I have ever seen in a spray. If anyone knows any other mists like this, I'm about to show you another one, but if anyone knows any other mists that are as fine as this, especially drugstore, please tell me there's a drugstore setting spray out there that has this type of mist. Please let me know. It's just beautiful. And again, with the whole like me loving my glowy skin recently, if I've done my face too matte, I just do this all over and it just brings my skin back to life and i absolutely bloody love it oh my god i'm just gonna spray it all over my body because i'm so sweaty it's not it's not got any sort of shimmer in it but it it's not a mattifying setting spray is what i'm trying to say it just brings your skin back to life and gives you a bit more of a glow but i freaking love that at the moment and then another one that has also got a delightfully fine mist the benefit professional super setter this stuff is also really really good i have absolutely been loving this and both of these in combination honestly i just at the moment i'm just sort of grabbing whichever one i can find that it was nearest to me but yeah this stuff again amazing I'm so drawn to setting sprays now that have a super fine mist. I'm just obsessed. This one doesn't quite smell as nice as the Fenty one. The Fenty one smells like a spa. This one just smells like a setting spray, but it's also a really nice setting spray. And it definitely does the same sort of thing of like reviving your skin and just making you look really nice and fresh. And I really like it. So, and I think, do you get more in this one? Let me just check. Fenty, you get 100 mil. The Benefit one, you get 120 mil. So just a little bit more in this one. I like the packaging as well. I think it's really cute, but you can't beat this Fenty packaging. Like, Rihanna has just 
fucking nailed it at everything, to be honest. I was gonna say with her makeup brand, but just at life. Next up, I've got some eyebrow products, which you can probably guess. I'm not gonna dwell on them for too long. We have got the Lottie London Clear Mega Brow. Oh my God, can you see? Like the writing has sort of started to rub off. You know I like a product when the writing started to rub off. Um, I did lose the little brush that came with this because it was literally like the size of my pinky fingernail. But this is a brow soap basically. And I just, what I actually do is I spray a bit of the setting spray into here. And then I just take a spoolie, like a regular spoolie, rub it in here and use it to kind of glue my eyebrows up and into place and look super fluffy. I didn't use this today, but when I am using this, I try and remember to do my eyebrows first and then do my foundation because otherwise it can sort of like remove the foundation from above your eyebrows because I'm sort of like trying to push them upwards. If you're looking for a nice brow soap, I would really recommend this one. I think it's a bit more difficult to get hold of because I think they might just sell this on the Lottie London website. I don't know why they don't have this on ASOS because they've got the tinted one on ASOS, but I will try and find it and leave it linked down below. It's really, really nice and it's really affordable if you're into your kind of soap brows. And then this NYX brow product, I spoke about in my previous video, so I'm literally just gonna mention it. It is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I use the shade Ash Brown. Been loving this to do my brows. It's got a little brush tip like this. And that's all I'm gonna say on it because I've literally spoken about this, I don't know, maybe five times in the past couple of months. And yeah, in my previous video, I literally spoke about that for like five minutes. And another brow product that I really like is the number seven Beautiful Eyebrows Tinted Gel. I've got the shade Brown and this is a really nice shade. It's quite a cool toned brown, which is quite rare for brow gels. A lot of the time they're a little bit more warm, but because my natural hair was like quite a cool color, I try and find more cool toned brow products for my eyebrows but it is quite difficult because a lot of them do pull more warm but the brush on this is a really nice little size because sometimes the the brow brushes on these type of things are just too big, but this is actually a nice size and it gives like a really nice bit of tint to your eyebrows. Again, I've mostly been using this when we go to dog training sessions. I would just put on like tinted moisturizer, bit of cream contour, bit of my Fenty blush, bit of this, set my under eyes and I'm good to go. Like five products, super simple, super quick because I'm usually running late for everything ever in my life, but we all know that already. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is an eye primer. I have actually only had this since when did I get this? I think I actually received this on like around the day of my Revolution launch. And you know what this is so similar to? The Anastasia Eye Primer. I really, really like this one. It's a very light shade and it's very full coverage, covers all of my veins. Eyeshadows blend really nicely on top of it, I find. It's kind of like a very pale concealer almost, but I, th I like it's a bit more sticky than concealer. But I really love the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. I would say that this Revolution one is a really good dupe for it. And I think this is like five pounds. I think the Anastasia one is maybe like 15. So I've got the shade light. They do do this in three shades, but I would definitely recommend, like for example, if you are using my eyeshadows, like my Super Spice palette, which of course is a favorite of mine. Absolutely bloody love it. You know what? In my previous video, I was a bit sort of like cautious around my products. I'm not ashamed to mention them because I am bloody proud of these products and I love this palette so much. But anyway, if you are using my palette, I would definitely recommend using an eye base like this if you want to get the most out of the bright shades anyway. I personally find, I mean, you don't have to, you can use them however you want, but I personally find that putting down a base like this really gives these something to sort of stick to and it makes the colors pop a lot more. So yeah, I would really recommend this one. I really like it. And I've been using this every time I've been using my palette now and they just work really nice together in combination. I still really like the ABH one, but I mean, this is a fraction of the price, so both nice. And then coming back to what I did, did say about five seconds ago. I can't not put my own products in this video because they have been a favorite of mine for about six months that I'd just been using them behind the scenes and hadn't been able to tell you there have been countless videos before I announced everything and everything launched where I'm wearing my products in videos and I just didn't say anything obviously because I didn't want to give anything away but even when I was like testing samples and stuff like the lip products I've been wearing for months and that is actually what I've got on my lips now so I have just been wearing these lip kits non-stop as you can see both of my pencils for both of the lip kits are now getting very small and I'm gonna have to get new ones very soon because all of my spare samples I gave 
gave away to family and friends. <laughs> so I have my two lip kits with Revolution. These are eight pounds each. And in each one you get the lip liner and the tinted lip balm. What I'm actually wearing today is the Toffee Drizzle lip kit, but I've only got a tiny bit of this pencil just around the edges of my lip. And then I use the tinted lip balm to just like blend it all together. And then I sort of take my finger and almost like remove some of the lip liner. Does that make any sense? Almost to like dull it down a little bit, but these lip products are what I need this summer and what I need right now in this summer heat, just something moisturizing, easy to use. I chuck these in my handbag, like the lip balms. I think I've got a lip balm in every single one of my handbags at the moment and they are all I need. So we've got candy icing, which is like the slightly, oh, okay, that's blunt, brilliant, brilliant. There we go. I managed to get a bit out of it. Candy icing, which is the lighter one. This is my perfect everyday news. And then the lip balms are only very slightly tinted. They're not like super heavily tinted. And then the toffee drizzle kit. That's what the lip liner looks like. And then the balm looks like this. So those are the swatches there of those two. And yeah, like I said, each kit is eight pounds each. I absolutely just love them. I don't know how many times I've just said that, but honestly, they're amazing and you need them. And I have no shame because I love my own products. <laughs> and then of course the highlighters as well, the glow duos, which look like this. My favorite one at the moment is cookies and cream. And I've just got both of these shades mixed all over my cheekbones at the moment, down my nose, in the corners of my eyes, on my brow bone. I just love them. And I took all of my products away with me to to Dorset and I use them every single day. Even on like days with my family, I did some like colorful eyeshadow looks, which I never would normally have done, but I was just enjoying sort of playing with the different colors. On one of the days I did a neutral look, just using the mini spice and I'm using this shade for my fake freckles. And yeah, it's just a gorgeous little mini palette. So good for like a little neutrals look. Honestly, I, yeah, enough said. I will leave them linked down below if you guys are interested. And yes, I am highly recommending my own products because I love them. I believe them and I've also got to say as well like thank you so 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 much for everyone that has tagged me in pictures messaged me like people have privately dm me being like oh my god so I tried your new palette I love it or like your lip kit is perfect for me stuff like that like your messages and the things you've been tagging me in have just made me so happy because I'm like I have loved these products for so long um while I've been testing them and now for them to be released and out there and to see people using them is just honestly like the best feeling ever so thank you if you have got over Everything or anything from the collection and as always like no pressure you don't have to buy anything I know that times are hard at the moment with like the pandemic and things and so you don't like please don't feel pressured to buy anything for those of you that have I just want to say like I really really appreciate it so thank you so much I'm just gonna have to spray myself with this because please cool me down please cool me down right I'm just gonna answer a question of the day if you guys have got any questions leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day and I might answer them in my next video today's question comes from love that base nice and they've said what would be a product you were most sad over that was stopped producing and would you use the last of it irl or on a video love your vids hoping more makeup hacks i can definitely do some more makeup hacks thank you so much one product guys that somebody lots of people informed me in the comments where i test this foundation maybelline superstay 30 hour foundation the new one active wear or whatever it's called apparently maybelline are discontinuing the previous Superstay, which was one of my favorite foundations. You can still get it online on some places, but I check Superdrug. They don't have it anymore. It's been replaced with this one and I don't like this one. So if this is actually being discontinued, I'm very sad about it because I loved that foundation. And if anyone wanted a full coverage foundation, the previous Maybelline Superstay, the 24 hour one, not the 30 hour one was so good. But I just don't get on with this one. I'm gonna have to try it again because some people said that it took them a few times to sort of get it to work well for them and then it stayed all day but if they've got rid of the original Maybelline Superstay I'm not going to be very happy about it so that's one for me right I'm going to go I'm going to go have a shower I hope you guys enjoy the sun if you are in the UK if you are out in the sun please remember to wear your SPF don't get burnt don't damage your skin and yeah I hope you all have a lovely rest of the weekend and a lovely week and I've just blended this all into my hand I hope you're all good and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs>